Hello, this is Samuel from Action Figure Fury, and today we're hearing from Diamond Select Toys, specifically from Uprising, Valor Omega, and November Ajax. These were kindly sent to me by Diamond Select Toys, and I'm now reviewing them, and I have to say, these figures are absolutely fantastic. Really, really do appreciate that Diamond Select Toys sent us these to review. These are phenomenal looking figures. Uh, I haven't seen Pacific Rim or Pacific Rim Uprising, but I do know the concepts of the film. Obviously, you have these robots, Jaegers, which, well, these giant robots, Jaegers created by the humans to fight against the Keiju, which are these monsters which obviously come from the deep within the earth. I have to say, quite very good concepts for film, very much like the Godzilla stuff which you see in Japan and whatnot, but you know, obviously American or Western lines. I know the first one was directed by Gamera Turner, I'm not sure who directed the second one, but they're pretty darn fun films from as far as I know, and I do love the robot designs from both films. And I have to say, Diamond Select Toys have done a fantastic job with these. Really, really do love the subtle paint washes, the little bits of uh, silver paint on top, a little bit of silver dry brushing on top to add a bit of battle damage. They look absolutely phenomenal. I can't decide which of these two figures I love more because <laughs> they're that good. Anyway, I'll be bringing uh, November Ajax first because he's the smaller of the two. Then we could look at him first. I'll show you all the detail on him. Do like the little head and we can see all the, see if I bring in close, you can see all the little subtle bits of silver on it. It's really, really nice, nice wear and tear. It looks really well done. Really nice. I do love the hands as well. They are, you know, how everything's there's all these panels all over the fingers. It looks really, really cool. I do dig it a hell of a lot. Really nice. Bring it in closer and give it some more. See there the feet, all this armoring, and I also like as well you can see inside. You can see all the machine machinery inside, like pistons and all that other good stuff. Looks really, really cool. And really, diamond stick toys have really knocked these out of the park. Show on the back as well, as you can see more of the pistons. I'm, probably, I'm guessing they would use these to jet at the enemy. Really, really good. So dig these a lot. You can see there's some more of um, thrusters here, which is really cool. See some silver and the paint job on these is absolutely exquisite. Let's bring in the uh, Valor Omega. These pose very well too. Do dig this one a lot. This one's got clearly got some weapons visible with these massive uh, cannons on the arms. Uh, this is a really, really bulky looking figure. Really dig it a lot. So there's much more. Uh, well, that one's more um, slim on. This is more of a brutish sort of uh, Jaeger. You can see here massive shoulder pads here. More armoured up. These bag, massive arm panels with the uh, cannons coming out. Really, really good. Bigger chest. Really, really nice. This one looks like it's been in battle quite a bit. I do love it. The the the, de you know, the wear and tear is so well done on these figures. I can't complain at all. I absolutely do dig it. Let's check the back here. It hasn't got no thrusters. Was I? They could possibly be thrusters there. You got some more. A uh, loads and loads of um sort of engineering in the in the workings of these uh, massive massive robots. You can see it looks really really cool. Diamond Select Toys have really gone above and beyond with these figures, I must say. The really, really, only point is, no problem, they'll pay a paint scuffage, but I, I just raised from the front, so that won't be a problem at all. Really, really nice looking figures. Really, really nice. You can see that I love the paint on the chest here. You can definitely see some uh, wear and tear just in the middle there. It's really, really good. I'm so overwhelmed by how good these figures look. I'll be definitely wanting to get more of these. Like really, really nice. Right, before I um, discuss accessories, I'll discuss the... Oh, I really do love the uh, numbering detail on the arm there as well. Really, really nice attention to detail there. These figures are, are incredible. I mean, I'm definitely very much impressed with these. Uh, here's uh, November Ajax. In the way of articulation, November Ajax has a ball joint. Has a, is it a ball joint? Yeah, it's a ball joint. Don't get much motion out of it because of how the head's sculpted, but it looks really, really good. Again, you can see some more silver dry brushing on there. Really nice. Their arms are on swivels there, but they also ha there's a single other joint in here. As you can see, this is where they've got a circular sort of... I'm not too sure what you would call that. That it gives gives the opportunity to go out, but and then these uh, shoulder panels don't get in the way because they are they can move up and down as well, so that's pretty darn good. Well thought out by uh, Diamond Select Toys there. He has a board joint in the chest, so go forward a little bit, back a little bit, side to side, a bit like that sort of motion. Uh, the legs are on board joints. 
or let's just say broad-jointed hips, so they can go forward, but it turns because of how the armor is, they can go back quite a bit, out a little bit, not too far because of how the sculpt's hindered. They've also got double-jointed knees, so well, we're seeing, there would be, yeah, they are double-jointed, as you see, it's, it's a double joint, but because of the articulate, because of the sculpt, it can't, doesn't come up too fast, so it sort of impedes, but you're not going to have these uh, robots in too many poses, because they are massive robots, so they do cut out fighting, so you can get them some fighting poses. Uh, and he also has a board jointed ankles, and again, this is hindered by the sculpt, there's no fault at all by dance, the toys parts, how these figures are designed, and they do work well, so you do get a bit of ankle, a little bit of ankle pivot there as well, so you do get some articulation, which is really, really good. So the November Ajax is uh, well articulated. And uh, the way of, um, also as mentioned as well, they do have, uh, um, they do have um, single jointed elbows. I should mention they've got single jointed elbows there. Well, for November Ajax. And he also has uh, swivel hinge wrists, which work really, really well. I don't have any faults at all with the articulation on these. I know the arms do look a bit, feel a bit loose, but once you get them posed up, they look grand on display. Anyway, let's have a look at uh, Valor Omega. In the way of his articulation, he's got a ball-jointed head as well. But again, it's, again, it's sort of hindered because uh, the head it just touches you know, this chest, so you, don't, you can't get too forward, but you can get back a little bit, which is really nice. Um, again, the same, same thing with the arms. You can go swivel here, but they can go out, but not as far because um, obviously because the shoulder panels are much bulkier on Valor Omega, so it doesn't go out too far. But you don't really need it to. Uh, here, then he get. Oh, he has an extra. Uh, does he have? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, he does not. No, he does not have it. So they, they have different articulation, which is pretty snazzy. Um, he seems to have a swivel in the bicep. Then again, his articulation more allows it. Does he? Uh, does Does November Ajax have a swivel in the bicep? No, no, it does not. No, there's no there's no uh, swivel in the bicep there. He has a single jointed elbow, so it goes up and down, pretty damn nice. His swivel hinge wrists, which work really, really well. The guns aren't articulated anyway. He has a board joint in the chest, which is much lower, so it goes goes back quite a bit, so you get more motions in some areas than with November Ajax, you know, vice versa. They have more articulation, they, depending on the character figure, they have more articulation areas than some others, so if you know what I mean. It looks pretty well, it works well. Uh, board jointed hips, they can go quite far forward quite far back, quite out, so see, uh, like I was just saying, the articulation varies from uh, figure to figure because of the character designs. Uh, has a single jo uh, double jointed V again, but it's sort of hindered by the uh, hindered by the sculpt, which I don't have a problem with, and again it has ball jointed ankles. So overall, they're a well articulated figure. They do come with some accessories, I'm not too sure if there's uh, different versions, because I know in the earlier versions, they had uh, ones that came with comic stores, and the one mass retail ones became more accessories. I'll be looking to get some of those earlier ones because I really want to build up my uh, uh, Jaeger collection. Because I really do dig these. But uh, they do come with some accessories, but they are rather limited. Um, they each come with a set of hands. You can see I've got on each figure uh, a fist and an open palm, which I've done for both. So you get interchangeable hands, you get these open, open hands. I'll show each one. Yeah. Open hands. Well detailed in each one, I have to say. I really do love the paintwork, and you can even just inside see the machinery inside the fingers, which is really, really cool. Diamond Tech Toys have done a bang up job with these, and also the cover of uh, fists as well, which are really, really well. I'm definitely going to try and get some more of these uh, Jaegers. And if you are curious, yes, these are on the same scale as the NECA Pacific Rim figures, so you can mix, you can put those on together. Put them on display with no problem. They fit together absolutely perfect. I don't have... Um, I forgot the name of the main Gypsy Danger on hand right now. But they I can tell you they do fit to scale. And they look absolutely excellent on display together. I highly recommend these Pacific Rim Uprising figures. Even if you're not a fan of the film, these are absolutely fantastic toys. From the design, the articulation, the posability, how they stand... I highly recommend them. I can't stop, <laughs> I can't stop talking about them, how great they are. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Bye for now.